Hi everyone, this is CJG from CJG Goods Tech, and today we're going to do another Metro update on the Apple iPhones that we have to offer, especially if you go to Metro by T-Mobile or if you're a new or existing customer. So stay tuned as I talk about it in this quick video. <laughs> First and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel and also staying at home and staying safe out there. I know that's a crazy world out there, but other than that, let's go ahead and talk about these two smartphones, especially from Apple, since I know everybody's been looking into the information and hopefully get one of these phones when they go to Metro by T-Mobile. So as you can see on my left, this is the iPhone 7. The original iPhone 7 that comes in jet black. And to my right is my iPhone SE 2. Now, it is technically called iPhone SE 2 when you get at Metro by T-Mobile. This is the 2020 version. I know there are other prior versions of the iPhone SE back then. I don't really know why they even name it SE, but let's go ahead and talk about the specifications and the pricing real quick. So the only differences between these phones is this one has two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal space. Whereas the iPhone SE 2 has 64 gigabytes of internal memory plus three gigabytes of RAM added. Also, you'll notice that they have two different chipsets where the iPhone 7 has the Apple A10 Fusion chip and then the iPhone SE 2 has the latest one that's the, I believe the a13 bionic chip inside the phone the similarities between these two phones is that they each are 4.7 inch screen so if you have let's say a case or a screen protector for your iphone 7 it will fit on the iphone 8 and the iphone se and the se2 so just keep in mind that it is a 4.7 inch screen they are the same size and as you can see there's the back that tells you more information on the phone and video recording on each of these phones. I believe that for the iPhone 7, it do maxes out at 1080p, but it do have 4K recording available. Whereas the iPhone SE 2, 64 gb version, they do have 4K video recording available that maxes out at 60 frames per second. So that's pretty cool for all the filmmakers and YouTubers out there who are looking to get a new phone. And then the camera specifications on each of the phone, let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. Now the iPhone SE 2 has a 12 megapixel wide rear camera around the back and a seven megapixel front facing camera. Whereas the iPhone 7, again, it does have a 12 megapixel wide rear camera and a seven megapixel FaceTime HD front facing camera. I'm guessing the camera specifications are the same but they both do have touch ID for fingerprint sensor. And also, again, same size screen on the phone. Now, the iPhone 7, I believe, it's like a liquid crystal display and an iPhone SE, the same, but the prices can be different, especially when you switch over to Metro by T-Mobile. So let's talk about that. Now for the iPhone 7, you will get in Jack Black since that's the only color available for Metro by T-Mobile. Whereas the iPhone SE 2 will have not only a jet black, it also comes in white and product red. And for the pricing available for this, iPhone 7 starts out at $349 full retail price. When you switch, there is a special to get the iPhone 7 for $29.99. And in case you don't get the Switch Plus special, it's $149.99 for the phone. And then if you're looking to get a new line or an upgrade, you will get a $150 discount where the phone's gonna be at $199.99. As for the iPhone SE 2, 64 gigabyte version, this phone is coming out at $99.99. So we do see that um, special where in order to get the $99.99 special, you do have to pour in your number from your carriage to Metro by T-Mobile. And then after six months of service, they will give you a $100 credit towards a virtual e-gift card. So keep in mind and look through the messages as soon as you get services in Metro by T-Mobile. If you don't get the $99.99 price, but if you switch without validation, they do start at around $299.99. So that's $100 off from the retail price. 
and for a new line or an upgrade price you will get $50 off the price of that phone where you'll pay $350 plus um, the, your first month of service and activation included on each of these devices. Oh, one more scene to add to, the iPhone 7 does not have wireless charging, whereas the iPhone SE 2, you'll be able to use the iPhone SE with a wireless charging capability, so it is QI certified. And of course, each of them is non removable battery, so that's one shocker you see into these phones. And that is the information I got. And if you want more information on these devices, I would definitely check out um, these devices on Metro's website or at apple.com where I tell you more about these phones. And that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and been informed about it. And if you have any other questions or just suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll definitely look into it. You can also follow me on my social media page for other information. For now, this has been the Desert Geek. It's CJG from CJG Tech. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace out everybody and take care.